Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Pretty well. Pretty well. Same as yesterday. Yes. <laughs> and how are yeah. you? Yeah. I'm good, thank you. Did you have a good day today? Yes. <laughs> what did you do? What was today? A busy day? Uh, yes. Uh, I had a lot of office work today, so I didn't get uh, time to do my own thing, but it's okay. Uh, hopefully tomorrow you'll have more time. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Or you might have to wait till the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> um, we call Wednesday hump day because Monday and Tuesday is a struggle and then you get to Wednesday and then it's easy again. Okay. So we call, we call it hump day. <laughs> so it's the hardest day of the week is Wednesday. Uh, means uh, pronounce it once again. What you call to Wednesday? Um, hump day. Uh, hump day means? Oh, if you imagine like a camel's hump. Ha, it's ha, like. Ha. Monday and Tuesday is on the way up. Wednesday is the top of the hump. And then Thursday and Friday is easier. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> so today is hump day, but tomorrow will be easier, we hope. And okay. then it's Friday, and we all, all love Friday. <laughs> yes, because it's the last day of uh, your weekend. Yeah, it's the start of the weekend, I think part of the weekend yeah. i think uh, on friday you must be feeling like oh now today only i'll have to finish or uh, wind up <laughs> the work and get free yes yeah pretty much so i think it's the same for everyone friday is especially friday afternoon you start thinking about the weekend and you're not in the work mindset anymore you're in a weekend mindset Okay, <laughs> so you might uh, have prepared already uh, for your weekends. Yeah, but now uh, in Greece we're in lockdown, so my weekend will be pretty quiet, I think. <laughs> yeah. In home only. Yeah, probably at home doing housework, maybe a bit of yoga, and that's about it. Uh, okay. We can't go out outside too much. And it's very cold now, so... I don't want to go outside too much. Okay, but you can relax. Yes, yeah, which is good. What are you going to do this weekend? Do you have any plans? Mm, no, I haven't planned anything, but uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully you can relax too. Is there a, a, uh, family, yeah, but, uh, weekend, a family wedding this weekend? No, <laughs> no. No. That's good then. At least you don't have to put on a dress and do all your hair and makeup. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it means you can relax a bit more. I'm, I'm living in a, a small town, so uh, usually I don't have any uh, plan to go out or uh, do things. Uh, once in a month or uh, once in a two months, I uh, go to another city. If I want to buy something, clothes or kind of thing. Ah. So, so are you, are you from a, a small town then? Yes. Yeah. What is the nearest big city to you? It's not big city, but it's uh, my district place on 50 kilometers. But uh, I do not get what I want there. So many times I'll have to travel uh, 200 kilometers. I'll have to travel. Um, I'll, uh, it will take uh, 200 kilometers to go and it will take 200 kilometers to come back. means 400 <laughs> yeah which is a lot yes it's a lot no to do. yeah so I'm surprised you don't do it very often just when you really need something yes I, I used to um, uh, stock uh, things in advance what I need you used to what sorry I used to purchase uh, things uh, extra in spare Oh, okay. So buy in bulk. Yeah, because um, quality, I, I do not get quality what I want in my town. So 
yeah how to do it. yeah i mean it makes sense but yeah it's it's a lot better to stock up when you're there than to go back every week yes it takes a long time yes good and today we're going to finish off that that sheet Okay, uh, I, so I, I had emailed you uh, my video. Yes, I, I also got that. I haven't watched it yet because I just got it, but I will after okay. after this. Okay. Uh, I'll give it a watch. Good. Right. Let me know if you can see the screen. Mm, yes, I can see now. Yep. Good. Um, so I don't remember where we got up to, so maybe we can start from the beginning again. Yes, yes. It's better to start from the beginning. Yeah. I never remember where we get up to. So um, what about number one? He'd finished breakfast before I arrived. <coughs> Good. And the, the stress words in that one? Finished, breakfast, arrived. Uh, we'll just double check. Yep, finished, breakfast, arrived. Good. What about number two? Finished, breakfast, arrived. Okay, I did right. <laughs> you were right, yeah. Good job. Uh, ordered, huge, steak, dinner. Steak? Steak. Uh, okay. Uh, Philip ordered. Philip ordered a huge steak for dinner. Yes. So a, uh, a, uh, and four, for, for, for dinner. Yes. Okay. So number two. Let's have a look. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Philip ordered huge steak dinner. So you're right. Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, Philip ordered a huge what? steak of uh, Philip ordered a huge steak for dinner. Good, yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. Number three. Uh, they love they love to stay up late if they are going uh, gonna finish uh, their homework. They love to stay up late if they are gonna finish their homework. So what words are we stressing? Stay up, late, mm -hmm. gonna, finish, homework. Uh, uh, not, gonna, not gonna. Not gonna. <laughs> uh, stay up, so stay up late, late finish. finish, homework. Let's check. Stay up, late, finish, and homework. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just coughing now. Okay, uh, so try that again, and we're going to stress: stay up late, finish homework. Yeah, they love to stay up late if they're going to finish their homework. Good, very nice. And number four, uh, it must have been something in the air that caused Dad to shout. It must have been something there, uh, something in the air that caused Jack to shout. So yeah. where are we stressing? Mm, something. Mm -hmm. Air caused Jack shout. Yes. We'll double check. Number, what was that? Number four? Yeah, number four. <clears throat> something air uh, Jack shout. Caused, sorry, something uh, caused Jack shout. Yeah. Okay, good job. Number but, five. Are my pronunciations correct? Yes, yeah. So you had the must have. Must have been. I uh, been. I must have been something in the air. Uh, it, it must have been something in the air that caused Jack to shout. Yeah, so the to shout. Jack to shout. Could you please be more quiet? Could you please 
be more quiet. Could you? Yeah, so this. Could you? Could, could you or could you? Uh, I've learned could you. Okay, you can work with that. Could you? Could you please be more please. quiet? Could you please be more quiet? Quiet. Yeah, and, and the stress words? Please, more quiet. Please, more quiet. Yeah, we'll just have a check. Please, more quiet. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Uh, right. I can no. identify, but what about my spoken? Am I stressing uh, right words? Yeah, you're doing very well so far. Okay. Um, the other words are becoming the weak forms, and you are stressing the keywords. I mean, usually you stress the beginning, but that's because you're we're reading it. Yes. So you always tend to stress the first word because okay. you're reading, yes. which we wouldn't do in spoken. Uh, okay. Uh, once you uh, repeat the sentence, could you please be more quiet? Could you please be more quiet? Could you could you please be more quiet? <laughs> My tone is different. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it is. Okay. Could, well, well, first of all, I would say could you. So we are a bit different there. Could, um, you, uh, could you please uh, could you please uh, be more quiet? Uh, could you is uh, means um, right or it's a regional accent. The could ya yeah, is the regional. Okay. Yeah. Means it's because I'm from if the I north. If I say could England. you or could ya, yeah, then both are correct. Both are correct, yeah. Okay. Uh, but personally, I say could ya yeah, because okay. I'm from the, the north of England. Okay. Okay. What about number six? Unfortunately, Jack wasn't, wasn't able to finish on time. Unfortunately, Jack wasn't able to finish in time. Able to So the wasn't. Finish. Wasn't. Even, even though it's a negative, wasn't. Yeah. Unfortunately, Jack wasn't able to finish in time. Yeah. So the stress words? Uh, I think, unfortunately, Jack able finished time. Let's double check. Unfortunately, Jack finished time, yes. which means we're going to able to. Able to is not, wasn't able, non-stress. No. So we push them together. So it's able to. Able to, wasn't able to. Yes. Okay. So we'll try it again like that. Unfortunately, Jack wasn't able to finish on time. Able to. Yeah. Able Unfortunately, to. Jack wasn't able to finish on time. And the on? Your voice is breaking. I'm unable to hear you. Oh, you can't hear me very well. Oh, uh, yes. It's breaking. Hmm. Uh, Let me just stop seven. sharing for a second. Is that better? Can you hear me now? I can hear you, but the uh, screen is uh, invisible. You are invisible. My skin, skin is invisible. Slide <laughs> yeah. and you both are invisible. <laughs> <laughs> so it's um, it's black screen. Yes. Is that right? Yes, my internet oh, speed is okay. I can hear you perfectly, so I don't know why it's not. Maybe it's a connection. Mm. Right, I'll try and sh share the screen again. Okay. See if you, you don't really need to see me, you just need to see the screen. Okay. Can you see the shared screen? Yes, yes. And can you hear me okay, Lee? Yes. Uh, clearly? Yes. I can hear you clearly. Okay, yes. okay. Let's keep going then. We're on number seven. As soon as he has. Uh, he's collected, as soon as he's collected the result, he'll post them to his website. As soon as he's collected the result, he'll post them, post them 
to his website. Website. Yeah, as soon as he's collected the results, he will post them to the website. As soon as uh, he's collected the results, he'll post them to website. I always make mistake with sound wa and v. So I consciously pronounce it website. Mm -hmm. Website. Website. Sometimes I say yeah. website. Yeah, I think that the W is difficult because um, it's the same as the, the V sound for you. Uh, v sound and W sound are same in our mm, phonetics. Yes. So I think that distinguishing between the two, it probably has to be a conscious thing for you. Yes, dear. Uh, but you pronounced that correctly, website. Consciously, I did it. <laughs> yeah. If you keep doing it consciously, it, it, it'll become unconsciously. Yes. At some point. Good. Um, the stress today. Peter brought shoes today. Okay, okay. I'll have to tell you. Uh, as soon as collected, result, post, website. We'll just double check. Oh, we've also got soon in there. So soon, collected, results, post, website. Okay. As soon as he's collected the results, he will post. He'll post them to the website. As soon as. As soon as. As soon as, yeah. As soon as he's collected the results, he'll post them to website, to his website. He's to his yeah. website. Okay. Yeah, so the his, his, his is, website. Is, his, or is. He'll post them to his website. 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 Yeah, so this is a bit like a Z sound. Is. 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 His or is. Uh, in some dialect, uh, we can drop H sound as well. Is. Yeah. Instead of his, is. His website. So he'll post them to his I would say the H, but yeah, you're right. You can you can also drop the H. I don't do this, but I just learn. <laughs> yeah, it's good to it's good to ask questions. It's good to learn. Uh, next right. one. Right. Peter. Peter or Peter? Peter. Peter brought brought shoes today. Peter brought shoes today. Uh, I think Peter should be unstressed. Peter brought shoes today. I think all of them would be stressed. Okay. Peter brought shoes okay. today. And the pronunciation of this? Bought. Bought. Oh, sorry. Peter bought okay. shoes today. Peter bought shoes today. Peter bought shoes today. Yeah. The today. 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 Yeah. Not Peter bought today. shoes today. Today. Perfect. Good. So uh, we'll check all of them stressed. Yeah. Peter bought shoes today. All right. We've got two more. Yes. There should have been some replies by now. There should have been there should have been some replies by now. Mm -hmm. should so have should have? Should have been. Should have been. Should have been. There should have been some replies by now. Yeah. So where are we gonna put the stress? Some uh, replies. <laughs> Should, should have, should and replied. Now. Let's have a look. Oh, some replies now. 
I made a mistake. Some replies now. <laughs> He's undressed. Yes. Should have been some replies by now. Should have. Uh, should have been. There should have been some replies by now. Some replies by now. There should have been some replies by now. It's Good quite job. difficult. It's it's quite difficult. Same time we have to uh, stress the words, and when we are stressing word, we have to stress certain syllable as well. Yes, I mean in this one we're just focusing on the word mostly in in general. Yes, but yeah, you're right. It, sometimes it depends. Uh, I think uh, where, in next lesson, in, word, in next lesson, uh, we will learn to stress uh, words, and then we will do it together in sentence. We will uh, stress uh, words and uh, syllable as well. Okay. Yeah. So focus on where in the word you mean. I'm sorry. Is that what you mean? you want to focus on the stress within the word? Is that what you mean? Uh, mm, as far as I know, we have to stress certain words in sentence, like now we are doing. And uh, in words, we have to stress certain syllable as well. In noun, we have to stress. Uh, first syllable in verb, we have to stress second syllable. Uh, when uh, uh, um, suffix is there, we have to uh, stress the um, syllable just before uh, suffix. So it's yes. kind of uh, tough for me. Yes, I mean, today we're just mostly focusing on the word stress. Um, but you're right. There's yes. certain so, syllables so that we you, also stress. Uh, now, now we have uh, studied a word stress. Uh, in uh, next uh, two or three days, we will learn just um, word stress in sentence, uh, syllable stress in sentence, and then we will yeah. uh, do uh, together. Uh, together, we will practice uh, syllable stress and word stress in whole sentence. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Um, let's I finish think, with number 10. I think I'm a demanding student. <laughs> <laughs> number 10. What do you think about number 10? Knowledge, create, uh, knowledge creates opportunities where none have existed before. So opportunities. Opportunities. And knowledge creates yeah, opportunity, we'll... opportunities where none have None have existed before. Knowledge creates opportunities where none have none, none have, have existed, existed before. before. Knowledge creates opportunity when none have existed before. Mm -hmm. Where would we put the stress? I think knowledge creates uh, creates opportunity. Uh, existed before. Okay, let's have a look. Knowledge creates opportunities existed none before, and we also have none. None existed before. I think all words are stressed. <laughs> Most of them, apart yes. from where and, and have. No, these are function words. Yeah, well, this becomes yeah. uh, none of. Uh, have any student learned this topic before? Or I'm the first? Yes. I, I actually have a few um, students. Most of them are from India. Uh, and they like to practice the pronunciation and word stress. Okay. So they are studying same. Yeah, I mean, we, we have studied, I've studied, no, they've studied with me for quite a while. So we're doing a lot of different things too. Um, but they have done these lessons before. Okay. So you can share with me what they are doing means maybe I'll get an idea. What topic should I study? I mean, or they're I'm studying going... all the or I'm going to properly. Kind of um, 
Yeah. Right. On the bottom of here, uh, there is exercise three, uh, which is why I've sent it to you, because uh, I want you to tape yourself. Yes. Reading them and then listen to it. And, uh, well, firstly, read it as, as if you pronounce every word okay. and every syllable. And then try and read it uh, with the weak form and assimilation and word stress. And then play it back so you can um, hear yourself. Okay, Miss. Uh, I'll have to uh, record my own voice and then hear it. Yes. It's a very good way of you, you hearing yourself and knowing. Um, where you might have some issues okay okay watch my video and uh, let me know in next next lesson or uh, by email that uh, what mistakes i've made in pronunciation because uh, i recorded it in one go and sometime i was fumbling <laughs> but i did it so so i'll i'll uh, yeah so i think or i'll message you which days uh, next week uh, you'll have to book. Uh, we will have to book. Uh, by tomorrow, I have booked a lesson with a musician. I asked him to teach me English through music. I mean, I cannot understand English songs. <laughs> so, oh, good, uh, good. <laughs> is, that, is that on Cambly? Yes. First, I messaged him. Uh, he's a musician. I had uh, checked his profile. And uh, I asked him, you are a musician and I'm unable to understand uh, English songs. I can speak English, but I cannot understand English songs. So will you teach me? He said, of course. <laughs> yeah, I think that he is found, the... He found it interesting. <laughs> that's um, when they say you can understand the English songs or whichever language, uh, that's when they say you're fully fluent. And so if you can understand the... The songs, then you are technically, you know, fluent in English. Really? Um, that's what that's apparently what they tell tell people. Um, but even even as a native speaker, sometimes we can't understand. I mean, a lot of songs we can, but uh, some songs you can't understand what you're saying. Okay, uh, because they, uh, um, uh, I think maybe change pronunciations to match with the music. Yes, yeah, they do. Um, and a lot of my friends, they will sing the wrong lyrics because they think that's what it says and it's something <laughs> completely different. <laughs> okay. So I think that will be entertaining with his yes. lesson. I think you will enjoy it. Yes. Mm, um, I hope it's Monday good. Or, yes, on Monday or Tuesday, uh, by Sunday only I'll message you or email you. To book lesson okay we're gonna run out of time so i'll say goodbye, okay, uh, bye have goodbye. a good evening